Hi there, in this video tutorial we'll take a look at how you can bring media files from your external hard drive back to your re-imaged computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you can see both your, your internal hard drive and your external hard drive on the desktop. If they're not showing up for you, the way you can fix this is by clicking on the desktop, going to the word Finder, choosing Preferences, and in Preferences making sure that the first two boxes here, Hard Disks and External Disks, are checked under the General tab. Once those are checked, you should see them on your desktop. So the first part of this process I actually already did. Um, I went ahead and I opened up my hard drive, and I opened up the external hard drive. And on my internal hard drive, if I look over here on the left under Favorites, I have Movies, Music, and Pictures. I have those same three folders on my external hard drive. So what I went ahead and did is Movies, it was originally empty. So I went to Movies on my, in, my external hard drive, selected all of the folders that were there and simply drug them over to movies on my computer so, and it made a copy of each of those. Now depending on how much data you have this could take a few minutes or in my case it actually took a few hours because I have close to about 120 gigabytes total between the three folders. So I did that for music or sorry for movies and then I did it for music and so it's the same sort of process. I find music on my external hard drive, select the three folders, drag them over so that they end up over here. And then finally I did it for pictures. So now when we look at pictures on my external hard drive, it matches pictures on my computer. So I've already transferred all of my files over. So the next thing I want to do is just go ahead and check that um, iTunes and iPhoto are going to work. So in the case of iTunes, what I want to check ahead of time is just make sure that I only have one iTunes folder on my computer and it's the one that has all of my music in it. And part of the reason why I know this is if I go into iTunes music, I see folders for all of the, the songs I've ever purchased or downloaded. So now that I know that that's there, I'm going to go ahead and launch iTunes. And the first time you launch iTunes, it'll actually ask you to um, accept the user agreement and that sort of thing. But if you've launched iTunes and you see all of your music showing up, then you've actually transferred your files over correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and quit iTunes. Now iPhoto works very similarly. I just, I'm just going to check that in pictures, I only have one iPhoto library. That's where all my pictures actually live. And when I click on iPhoto, the first time it may prompt you to upgrade your iPhoto library because maybe you had a previous version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade. And so what actually ends up happening in this process is it scans the library and sort of makes sure that the pictures all have the proper format to actually fit within the library. Once this process is done, which you know can take a few minutes if you only have a few pictures, or if you have quite a few, could take a, maybe up to an hour or so, um, you should see your photos showing up within iPhoto. So that's taking care of your pictures. And in the case of movies, they're automatically going to be here in movies. And when you launch iMovie, it'll reference those files appropriately. So that's basically how you get the media from your external hard drive back to your computer. Um, if you have any questions, please let any of us know in the IT department.